Hi guys. Um, I think that you can tell by the lack of light that it is not anywhere near the morning. It is actually about 4.45 and I am just getting started with my Vlogmas Day 2. Yeah. <laughs> That's mainly because today is Friday and Friday for us is Friday free day. We do not do school on Friday. So um, Friday is my day for me to get a lot of work stuff done, any grocery shopping done. Um, who am I kidding? Most of the time, <laughs> most of the time Brian does the grocery shopping. But if I had to do the grocery shopping, it would be done on Friday. Anyway, um, I just went into the school room, cleaned it up a little bit. The kids are cleaning up because we're heading out to Nana and Pop Pops today to um, help them decorate for Christmas and have some pizza. So um, Friday is kind of our free for all fun day, but it is not without learning. So we don't do any formal quote unquote, which most of our schooling isn't formal, but um, according to them, they feel like they have a free day off and we don't do anything that we normally do on a regular school day. What we do is projects or um, any random things that we can pick up and kind of put our hands to just for a little fun on Friday. Um, so I went into the school room and um, I just grabbed some things here and I will just tell you what they are. Okay, so I grabbed my tripod. Hopefully that makes it a little easier for me to talk to you guys. Um, and basically this is what I do. This is probably gonna be nice, quick and easy. Um, but I just grabbed this bag. This is my like library bag that I take with us when we head over to the library. It is nice and big. And I think I got it a couple of years ago at Target. It needs to be washed, but it does the job. Um, so I grab this bag and I basically go through our resources in our classroom and grab whatever I need that will help me to do our little quote unquote lesson. So what we are doing today when we go over to Nanny and Pop Ups for pizza and decorating, um, we watched this Disney Nature Oceans movie at the beginning of the week. I grabbed it from the library and uh, we watched it while we were doing copy work or um, math or something like that. But um, they had a lot of fun watching it. I normally have it playing in the background. I don't force them to sit and listen to everything, but um, they normally end up picking up on a lot more than you would think they did. But anyway, one of the things that we did find quite fascinating was the information about the sharks. So I figured I might as well run with that since I knew I had a decent amount of resources that would help us just study the shark a little bit more. So that is what we're going to do. So I went through our um, school room and I just grabbed whatever I could um, to help us learn a little bit more about sharks. So I had this, you not, you guys know I have this um, Factivity Travel Through Amazing World of Wild Animals or the Amazing Wild World of Animals, either one. But <laughs> inside of it, there is a beautiful page about the great white shark and I um, bookmarked it and this is one of the things that we are gonna use. I also have another book, I forgot, it's called like Animals uh, well, I took this out of there. It's in my curriculum video, and I can't remember the name of it. But either way, I knew there was a shark page in there. And so I just grabbed the shark page out. And we don't really, we don't normally use the worksheets a lot. But I find that it keeps them busy. And if they want to fill out the um, answers to some of the questions, they can do that. But it's not normally a requirement. It's just another thing for them to look at some more information. A lot of the times we'll find that the information might be conflicting in um, workbooks like this. And then if they are, we talk about it. So I just grabbed that. I also had this in one of my um, homeschool hauls, but this is the Down, Down, Down book, and there is a page, there is a page um, on the Great White Shark. So we're gonna take that one along as well. And then last but not least, I showed this on our homeschool haul as well, and that is the Build the Shark. And so we are going to build a shark tonight. So we are going to go ahead and read some of these pages in here. 
I mean, I don't stick to, I'm not a, you know, I'm not going to make them go through every single page, but I just have them open up the page and just, I take note of what they take note of. And so that's what we'll do here. And then we'll go ahead and together try and build this sh shark. And then the last thing that I take along with us is, um, the last things that I take along with us are their composition notebooks because you guys know that I'm composition notebook crazy. But anyway, they each have a composition notebook for every subject and I just grab the notebook for the subject that we are trying to learn a little something about. And in this case, a shark would be considered science. So <laughs> I grab their composition notebooks for science and um, what I, there will be a very loose assignment. I basically will have them draw or write anything that they find interesting. So whatever notes they would like to take about what, you know, anything that they read or anything that they watched, they will be putting in here. Um, a lot of times my five-year-old, um, he ends up doodling things that have nothing to do with the subject that we're that we're learning about. Um, so there'll be a random like Iron Man or Hulkbuster or something like that in with his notes about the shark. And I'm okay with that. Um, in the beginning, he used to do that and it drove me insane. I'm like, dude, just stick to your words or just stick to the assignment. But I've learned that when I just let him be free and let him draw a little Iron Man at the top, or um, a Hulkbuster at the bottom along with his shark illustration or a couple of notes or facts about the shark, I'm fine with that. So um, yeah, so that's what we will use that for. So I'll just take these items along with my computer of course because if they want to if they have a question and i don't know the answer then i go to the computer and see if we can find it together so i'll just take these stuff these into my bag grab my um laptop and then we will go and have a little bit of fun at nana and pop-up's house so yeah and you guys just to note i did try to film this video on my big camera in our homeschool room but it was way too dark and i was having such a hard time trying to figure out if i was in focus or not so i was like let me just do what it is that i can do and this is what i came up with so hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully i wasn't rambling too much i do not talk this fast in real life <laughs> it's just that i wanted to get this filmed and they are wild and crazy in the background in their rooms and i was trying trying to get it done before they got way too loud. So this is what you have. Um, yeah, so this is Vlogmas Day 2, homeschool style. And I hope you guys found this um, video helpful. I don't even know. I don't know what's, if it's helpful or not. I just thought I would share what I do. And also, it's nice for me to be able to look back and remember what I did. Because have you guys ever done that? Like, you do something that works really well and then you forget about it. And then one day, you remember that you used to do something that worked really well for them. And yeah, that's that's basically me. So having this will help me determine which things work well and um, which things did not work well. And I think that's really helpful in homeschooling multiple children because the hardest part for me is, you know, paying attention to their individual needs. Um, but it can be done and obviously it's a ton easier when you homeschool and you just have three children to pay attention to rather than a whole classroom full of kids. So anyway, those are my like random thoughts and I am getting ready to pack up their stuff so we can head to Nana and Pop-Up's house. Um, yeah, my honey should be home soon and then we are gonna head out and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope you guys are enjoying this second video of our homeschool Vlogmas and give me a thumbs up if you like these and a comment if you have any questions or yeah, whatever. Hope you guys are enjoying your December so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Well, that will be tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>